Hi everyone. Today we're going to be talking about Noam Chomsky's classification of languages. Now, according to Noam Chomsky, there are four types of grammars. Those are type zero, type one, type two, and the last is type three. Now, what's the difference between them is on the basis of grammar accepted, language accepted, and the corresponding automata. So, first let's see the grammar accepted. So, grammar accepted by type 0 is unrestricted grammar. Grammar accepted by type 1 is context sensitive grammar grammar accepted by type 2 is context free grammar and the most restrictive of them all the type 3 is regular grammar similarly the languages accepted would be by type 0 it's recursive enumerable language by type 1 it's context sensitive language by type 2 context free language and by type 3 regular languages same for corresponding automata by type 0 the automata is Turing machine the most powerful them all, them all. by type 1 it's linear bounded automata which by the way is not in gate slivers by type 2 is push down automata and by type 3 is finite automata it shows that out of the, all the four types of the grammars each one is enclosed within the other so the type 3 or regular is the most restrictive of them all its scope is least then come context free then context sensitive and the recursive enumerable as the widest scope of them all or the powers you could say that the type 0 has the highest power and type 3 has the least power of them all now let's see each of them in detail first let us see type 3 grammar now type 3 grammar they generate regular language type 3 grammar must have a single non-terminal on left hand side and right hand side consisting of a single terminal or a single terminal followed by a single non-terminal these are the only two productions that are allowed in type 3 grammar it is most restrictive of them all so we can give examples such as x gives epsilon this is allowed if x does not appear on right side of any rule only in that case or x can give a so the first one would be a single terminal this is allowed or a single terminal followed by a non-terminal or uh, just a single terminal now let us see type 2 grammar as i said before type 2 grammar they generate context free languages the production is of the form a non-terminal produces a string of terminals and non-terminals the languages these languages generated by these grammars are recognized by non-deterministic push down automata as I shown in the table before so examples could be this is a non-terminal it generates a non-terminal followed by a terminal or a non-terminal it generates a terminal or a non-terminal it generates a, a terminal and non-terminal a non-terminal generates a string of terminals or a non-terminal it generates epsilon now let us see type one grammars type one grammar as i said before generates context 
sensitive languages now the production must be of the form a string of terminals and non terminals but one non terminal is a must produces another string of terminals and non terminals but here one of the string must be non empty the rule a non terminal give epsilon is allowed if the non terminal does not appear on the right side of any rule languages generated by these grammars are recognized by a linear bounded automata so an example would be is a two non terminals this is a string of terminals and non terminals where there must be at least one non terminal it gives a string of terminals and non terminals where one of this string must be non empty other example could be a non terminal gives two terminal and a non terminal or a non terminal gives a terminal etc now let's see the last and also the most powerful of the more type 0 grammar type 0 grammar it generates recursively enumerable languages the productions have no restrictions hence the grammar is unrestricted grammar they are any phase structure grammar including all form of grammars uh, and the corresponding automata is turing machine the productions can be of the form alpha generates beta where alpha is a string of terminals and non terminals with at least one non terminal and cannot be null and beta is a string of terminals and non terminals so the most unrestricted of the more examples could be a non terminal generates a string of terminals and non terminals similarly a non terminal with a terminal generates a string of non terminals and terminals two non terminals generate two non terminals a terminal and a non terminal generates a non terminal and a terminal so it's uh, very unrestricted and type 1 2 and 3 are all part of it as explained in the venn diagram and it's also the most powerful of the more